this is another section we want to enter into another section today yesterday was wonderful today we are having a very special person in our midst one of the persons i respect so much i'm um, right from the days in campus his love for god his love for academics has actually set him um, outstanding in life. I'm talking about somebody whose um, life is filled with wisdom. Um, a graphic designer and so many other qualities we can think of. Join me tonight to welcome an academic guru. A very special person, a scholar. Where would I even start? So, <laughs> a PhD yeah, scholar, man. micro and nano scale system, College of Engineering, Louisiana Tech University. Join me as I welcome engineer Alex Isian, my FBS teacher. You're welcome, sir. Yay. <laughs> welcome, Thank sir. you. Let me know if you can hear me. You can welcome, Jensek. Jensek, welcome. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can you hear any background noise from my end? No, 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 no. All right. No. I'm gonna do something right now. The training I've started. Do we are test? We already started. Can you hear background noise from my own end? No, I can't answer. No, it's clear. It's clear. I can only hear chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> I'm checking something. Can you hear background noise? No. Can you really. hear? Can you can hear, right? Yes. No. That's AI at work. So I have my fan turned up here, you know, blowing all around. There is noise actually here where I am right now, but you can't hear anything because you have to keep things professional. That's where AI comes in. Um, can, you hear, can you hear any sound? No. Not nice. You can't hear anything? Yeah. All right. So let's move. Um, for coming in first, before I share my slide, I want to show you what makes me look the way I'm looking and why you can't hear any background noise. So for coming in first, that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to share my screen right now. Um, Chizzy, allow me to share screen, please. All right. Sir. I'm going to show you something so that each time you are out there presenting, talking to people online, um, you should have your AI available to help you um, talk to people in a professional way. Chizzy, I'm still waiting for you. So, yeah, thank you for having me. I truly appreciate this opportunity. So let me just share the screen. All right. I'm not going to do in this first. Go down. Okay. So um, I believe the image you are seeing is not the same like the one you are seeing here. Am I correct? Yeah. This is exactly how I look like. But you could see it's different from what you are seeing. So if you have a good system, you want to uh, Google what they call NVIDIA Broadcast, all right? When you download this software called NVIDIA Broadcast, NVIDIA. It, has, um, it has three important features. Can you still hear me? Yes, sir, we can hear you. There are three important features here. One of them is your microphone, you could see that noise remover is the magic making even if you are banging harm on my head, it will interfere with my engagement with the audience. So if you, if you are in a room full of echo, right, you can check this box up and it will, you won't be having any echo interfering with your sounds. Uh, let me quickly show you the link to this so that you, I'll be sure that you downloaded the right thing. That's if you have a good system on it. That's the that's the that's the watchword. If you have a good system, 
<laughs> if you have a good system. So you have to have a good system, all right? So this is it. You just go here, download. I think it's um, it's actually a large file, honestly, but if you have it, it's going to give you an edge over some other person out there. So once you download, there's a quick video guide here. You can watch it and see all there is. I already have it. So I've just walked you through what the video just said in a brief. Uh, this is for speaker. Maybe you are listening to something and there is, there is noise in what you are listening. You can you know reduce this, the noise. Here, I have my... If you want to blow your background more professional way, um, let me let me change to what um, Zoom gives us. I'm going to blow my background using Zoom. Um, um, so this is Zoom now. You see how it looks like? It looks like it looks shabby. It looks not. It looks like um, I I just look somehow. I don't just like it. But if you change this to Nvidia, Nvidia gives you more professional look. You know. I have my camera here. I'm not even using this. I'm using my phone, but I'm not going to show you that one now. Um, so let's let's just move on. Let me go back to where I am. Um, okay. Let me remove this background. All right. Off we go. So I believe you catch that. So that's for coming in early. At least you have one um, software that you have learned today out there that you can be using to minimize noise, brighten your face so that you can look like uh, like a professional, all right? And one more thing that I wanna show you is the eye contact. Right now, anything you see here is what I'm looking at. Anything you see here, what I'm looking at is how, I, is how it's been presented. You can see here, I'm actually bending down, but my eyes is looking at you. Did you notice that? So that's the power of this eye contact. You wanna have it checked up so that you'll be looking to people, making that, um, I that. So, so having said that, now let's begin. I can throw this out. I can minimize this. Uh, let me go to my slides and commence this presentation. I hope this works. Uh, I think this is the one you are seeing anyway. Let me just. Uh, mm -hmm. Hope you can see my screen, right? Full screen, right? All right, so I wanna welcome you to the MindShifts Conference uh, or workshop 2023. I'm not gonna be wasting your time. I'm gonna be here for a short while. After have to that I'm not gonna uh, stay long. So I will try as much as I can to, to be brief. All right, so, um, so what my topic is strictly on the to help you unlock the future of AI, to help you understand how best you can leverage on this two to make uh, ends meet. And of course, you already know me. My name is Alex Simple. And um, right now, I need to do something for me. Just um, give me a thumbs up, take a screenshot of what's going on, tag me on social media. Um, I'm going to repose that, tell people that you are learning a lot. If you, if anything I say helps you in any way, just share it, tag me. Um, you can follow me on YouTube. That's my channel. Make sure you follow me. That's the only way I do what I do for free. You're not even, uh, I'm not being paid for what I'm sharing with you, but I can tell you for sure that sacrifices have been made, price have been paid, resources have been wasted to make this happen. And I'm even trading the, the highest currency today, which is time, letting you know this. So the best way you can support me is to join me on my YouTube channel. Um, follow me on my Instagram. I have my unique name, uh, the Alisiani. You can always find me there. Um, you can follow me on my Facebook tribe. I have a Facebook tribe where, where, I, share, uh, where I share things with, with people from time to time. And uh, maybe if you're a growing designer, growing content creator, whoever, you can share whatever you have on my community and people get to see them. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter, the same name is there. Um, TikTok, yeah, I'm there, you can follow me there. Then I have my uh, illustration, if you are into artwork, um, Directed AI software designs and the rest. You can follow me on my Creative Magazine platform. The platform is solely for artists. 
If you are an artist, if you're a creator, a tune, a cinematographer, you want to follow me on my creative magazine. That's where I share some of the things I create in that wise. And finally, if you are a brand identity designer, you like creating logo, you like creating um, identity for brands, you might want to follow me on my Alessiani logos. And there you see some of my works. Maybe you might get inspiration there. I still have several links on my link tree. You can go to my link tree. There are several link links there, links to my um, YouTube channel. Everything I showed you earlier is, is all detailed on this. You can also see my free toolkits, free box there. Um, you know, go there, collect it. It's free. It's not for sale. I have my shops that are sell there as, as well, but just go to the one that consigns you, the one that pertains to you. Yeah, and there's one important button in my link tree. Very, very important. It's called donation. Yeah, I accept offering. Okay, so if you hit on that button, select your currency, support me. Yeah, that's good. All right, enough of me. I Let me just give you a brief about me. I wear so many hats, uh, but this evening I'm wearing a particular hat. I'm wearing the hat of your researcher, and I'm wearing the hat of, of a mind communicator. So I believe that at the end of this, I'm gonna be challenging you. I, I like challenging people. I like talking to people. I like making them become better version of themselves. You can't be, you can't be a mediocre. Uh, I was telling you something prior before this meeting that I had to create my flyer differently, not because the one I saw was bad, but because it doesn't speak my, um my word right it doesn't speak my word and uh, anybody that knows me knows that i try uh within my capacity to make things look good so you try to make things look good so so that's why what i do i help people to become better i challenge people to do more you can actually do more you can become better than what you are today so yeah so you can follow me on all this channel you can chat me but don't uh, trivialize the opportunity of chatting me. If you want to chat me, go straight to the point. Don't come and say hello. Oh, hello true. is a waste of time. Say hello. Hit. Go straight to the point. Tell me what you are there for. Right. That's how these things work. Um. So um. How many of you know this guy? Just uh, leave a comment on the chat section so I'll be sure that I'm interacting with human beings. How many of you know this thing called who you guys know for sure that we started um uh planting using this particular equipment? There were a point this equipment was the real deal. It was the real deal, the most happening thing. If you have it, you're gonna marry the best, the most beautiful lady then. And the ladies should get ready to produce like maybe 20 kids or 30, or you know, it's gonna be like a battalion home because it's for us to be able to create something sustainable with these two. We need to have the manpower, we need to have the number, we need to have the energy, we need to have a whole lot of things there. But then all of a sudden, this guy showed up. This guy showed up and it happens that even if you are, not, if you, even if you are ugly, if you're an ugly guy, you can still marry. A very, a very nice lady, okay? So yeah, with this guy, you don't need much strength, you don't need much manpower. Um, and then you get the whole work done effectively, proficiently, and even um, timely. So the common thing between these two is this, um, strength and energy is, is required, cost is required. A number of labors is actually required, time, productivity, efficiency, effectiveness. Is required. So they have all these things in common, but in different level and in different degrees. So my question to you is this, do you choose costs over time or vice versa? Because literally looking at the tractor, you will say, ah, wow, I can't afford to buy a tractor. Let me stick with what I know. And, and you wouldn't do much. You wouldn't be that effective. You can't um, produce in a global scale. You can only create what your family is going to eat. That, that is why I can remember there are categories of farmers, if you remember. So you are just going to be on that fraction that only uh, produces for, for small 
a version of people. So, and any of the choices valid. Like Jesus told me this when I say, ah, there are only eight persons on the channel. I say, even if it's one person, I'm going to still share everything I've got. So if you make the choice and say, I don't have internet to, I don't have this, I don't have that, it is valid. But the question is, is it gonna give you what you want? Is it gonna take you to where you are headed? Uh, is it gonna give you that life that you need? Some of us admire being um, a housewife or a house husband, but then you wake up by 1 p.m. in the afternoon and struggle your way to the kitchen, eat, lie down on your bed, watch Netflix, and then you want to um, compete in a global scale. It's not going to happen. You're going to be the whole type kind of person. Um, we are still going. I want to define some things for you. I want to define some terminology that is going to help you understand what we are talking about today. And if you catch this uh, definition, it's going to help you navigate everything we're going to be talking about. Don't worry, we're going to be talking about tools. That was why I gave you one tool immediately we, we, we enter. There are many tools I'm going to be showing you today. Many tools I'm going to be showing you today. So uh, just uh, pardon me, let me give you some background. I want to motivate you to really pay attention because um, there is a guy called, um, I know um, uh, more, most, most of us here are, are, are Christian, but let me borrow something from, from, from our other brothers. There's a guy called Eminem. Eminem uh, is, a, is a musician, a pop musician. There was a song he sang uh, during the Super Bowl. I just got to the US last year, uh, sorry, two years back, and, and February used to be their Super Bowl. So uh, Eminem was to perform with a guy called D DRE, Dr. Dre by name. And there is this particular song that he has. He said that you have one moment, you have one chance, you have to give it everything you want. So probably somebody watching me right now, this might be the only time you've got to understand what is really going on because you turn to your left AI, you talk, turn to your right AI, what is happening? It's just like, it's just happening like 2014 when cryptocurrency was moving. I remember my friend that, that, that year, you know, trying to, to enlighten me on what cryptocurrency was, but I wasn't interested. I, I wish I can go back, honestly. I wasn't interested. But the point thing is that these things has come to stay. So what exactly is this, is this artificial intelligence? This is just definition. I'm not gonna be reading that for you. So I believe you are reading already. So that's just what it does. It it's it's trying to learn how we do things. It's trying to figure out how human things. It's trying to to help us do things better, to achieve a lot, even with minimal effort. The second definition I want you to know is the guy called machine learning. Machine learning is different from artificial intelligence. There is there is this. Finland. That's not why we are here, but I just want, want you to know what these things mean, all right? Machine learning is quite different. Machine learning is like, um, you know, you give birth to a child, and uh, that if you're going to give birth to a child anyway, I believe you're going to. <laughs> you give birth to a child, and then you are instructing the child, um, you know, uh, this is how to say hello, this is how to say hi, this is, and, and with time, the child will begin to behave like you, you are programming the child. Oh, that when when you touch electricity, it's going to shock you. When you do this, it's going to, this is going to happen. This is the this is the this is the effects of this call. That's in the call the guy what we call in uh, in uh, black belt or green belt six sigma cause and effect. You are teaching the person cause. And, so that's what ML is. It's like cause and effect. Then there is another guy, another guy that is the that is the organ making all this thing happening right now to happen. It is like a, a fraction that is not seen, but, but it's the main thing moving all this thing. It's called deep learning. It's called deep learning. It's like paying close, it's like a PhD student right now taking a fraction of a course of a topic, digging deep to understand everything around that particular course. So if you know, if you understand this three definition, it's gonna help you to really know what is actually happening. And let me tell you for sure, every field is going to experience a good hit from this straight tripartite uh, 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 force coming in right now. And the point thing is this, it's not coming to damage you. It's coming to help you. But can you use me? 
That's the question it's, it's, it's asking you. Can you use me? That, that's, that's the issue between the guy that was using, that was training the line with a hoe and the guy using tractors, harvesters, and so, so many other mechanized instruments. That's the difference. Can you use me? And, and the funny thing is that this thing, it looks easy the way it's been defined because it's easy for people to give you advice, but it's very hard for you to find your own purpose. Let me tell you the truth. On any purpose you have, hmm, have something to do with distance. It can either amplify what you are doing or challenge what you are doing. Let's move. Um, there are over 2,200 AIs out there right now. In fact, as of last night, when I checked again uh, with my source, there are 2,279. That means every day a new tool is coming in. In politics, there is, there is one guy called the Do Not Pay. Do Not Pay is like, um, it's like a lawyer. I don't need to hire any lawyer again. I can use the robot Do Not Pay to file for <laughs> compensation, divorce, <laughs> don't divorce, divorce, um, sue people, robots, suing people. And, it, and the point is that research shows that this robot did it better than uh, Sandari, really, like um, some of these uh, charge and bill lawyers. It did it better than them. So I, I, I'm showing you this, uh, we, call, we call this thing Venn diagram. I'm showing you this Venn diagram to show you that this too is is touching every field, is touching every field with speed. The one that I'm still huh, that I'm still challenged with is the guy that has to do with voice, mimicking voice. That one is mad. I was looking at it the other time and I was wow, because the thing can learn your voice and even talk more than more than you think you know how to talk. Let's move. This is just information, but let me give you one vital truth. This, this is the truth that people don't used to see. And if you, if you, if you are surrounded by mediocres, you know, um, uh, people who, who don't really challenge themselves, people that do small things, people who, who, who have small vision, who make mouth on small wings, then, um, uh, uh, then, then this particular truth, you may not be able to see it happen in your life. One of the truth about this AI stuff, the many tools that you're seeing is that it requires meekness. You must be willing to learn. It was called machine learning for a, re for a reason. It was called artificial intelligence for a reason. It was called deep learning for a reason. So you must be willing to learn. If you're not willing to learn, after, uh, meanwhile, that's one of my AI um, generated ads. It's on sale right now on Redbubble. So if you open my link, my link tree link, um, you should be able to patronize me anyway. <laughs> Let me move this guy this way. All right. So, and the next thing is it takes competence to earn. I've seen people that know a lot of AI, but they have not made anything out of it. They are not valuable in it. They are just playing around, wasting their time. Um, the little one MB or one gig you subscribed, you are there shouting. Chat GBT did this one. This don't, don't I try this stuff. That's not what that's not why it's there. You you are wasting it. You are wasting the technology. Strive for competence, strive for mastery. Where can this thing be applied? So two things to go out with, even if you don't know anything, anything, even if everything I say doesn't make sense to you, huh? just know that it takes meekness to learn these tools and, and it takes competence and mastery to earn from it. Now, a few more points. Value before traction. Anything I'll be... Eh, eh, and I'll be showing you from now on the tools that we are going to be exploring. All the tools go for traction. Go for go for traction. Go for traction. But before you go for that traction, you must make sure that you are valuable. So value before traction. And nobody knows it all yet. That's the funny thing. All of all these people making noise online. 
Nobody knows it all. Yeah, we are still learning. It's called machine learning for a reason. It is still learning. It is not the machine yet. Do you understand the English? All of us are still learning. Nobody, there is no guru out there in this. I'm telling you, at least I'm staying on, I'm staying somewhere that's supposedly like the forefront of the technology. Nobody knows, even my advisor doesn't know it all. Even today we are, we are discussing, we still don't know it all. You have to be open-minded in this game. I think I will leave you with that. I think I've, I've, I've buttressed on this point so well. So uh, the moment we've been waiting for, go to the new deal, go to the new deal, show me something, show me something, show me, show me the tools. Show me the tools. Show me, show me this thing. Show me this thing. See, um, see, I, I, I would like you to, I would like you to, you know, screenshot this, post it on your WhatsApp. So one day, you know, I really did use this AI to do some things. You know, a lot of, a lot of funny things. Yeah, with AI, mm, you can do a lot of things, good things, and bad things. Yeah. But don't do bad things, actually. I want you to um, take a moment, stretch, um, just tell somebody, join. This is the time that you've been waiting for to know the tools to use. I'm not like I told you, there are two thousand over 2,000 tools out there. We can't use all of them this night, right? We can't. We can't. I'm not going to be showing you some important ones that are there. I've already shown you one. That's this guy, NVIDIA Broadcast. You want to have that? For, for the things you do, you want to have that handy. Okay, so I think I've, I've, I've demonstrated this one. So I'm going to move to the next one. Some of these tools, I'm not going to be going deep, 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 but I'll be showing you things that's going to help you. I'm, I'll be telling you what this one does. This is the one that do this. This is the one that does this. And then your responsibility, remember what we said, it takes meekness to understand these tools. You must be willing to learn, you must be teachable. You must be teachable. And the other side of the pendulum, which is earning parts, that is one thing that most people are still yet to figure out. I'm gonna be showing you um, 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 that. Maybe not in details, actually, but let's let's move, let's see where, where the um, C is gonna lead us to. The second guy I wanna show you is this. I know all of us don't like um, Explorer. But let's just demonstrate. This is Microsoft Bing. It uh, came out a few week, a few months, ago, a few weeks ago. Yeah, it's still it's still barely a few weeks old. You know, they kept evolving its rating, and they finally merged with ChatGPT. And right now, they have something interesting. Ah, that guy you are seeing behind that guy is AI generated, honestly. So I'm the one. I'm the owner of that ad. So it's uh, somewhere in my shop. You can also go and buy that if you like it. All right, so let's demonstrate. Um, I'm gonna be pulling up um thing. Can you see my my screen? Can you see my screen? My screen. Give me a thumbs up if you can, or tell me yes. Yeah, yes, sir. I can see. Yeah. So uh, this I'm on Google Scholar, and this is my elder brother Matthias Isian. So these are some of his works. So I'm gonna be using it to demonstrate because at least I have the battery to do that. Yeah, so let me just pull up one of his works. I'm assuming that I'm a historian. I'm a history student. You know, I've been told to go and read all, all the works Matthias have done because I'll be doing work with him. And I have and I have the whole of one week to do this or maybe even two days or three days, depending on how the, the timeline is. And I don't know how to... So Lord, look at this, man. Look at this. Look at this. Up to five pages. Oh, what am I... No, no, man, I can't finish this guy's work. All I need to do is to have access to one of his works. So this is one of the works here. You know, this is it, this is it, this is, these are works. He has written a lot, you know, so many things. This is up to like 16 pages. And I don't have the time in the whole world to start reading. I can tell Bing to, to read this thing for me, you know, to summarize all these things. Tell me what Matthias did so I will know how best to summarize this particular article that has to do with what's the topic again. Uh, let's look at the topic. The topic says um, social media and, and the COVID-19 pandemic observations from Nigeria. Now, 
when you open Microsoft Explorer, the first thing you want to do is to click on this icon. You see this icon here? This blue icon here. Once you click on that, before you will have access to this thing you are seeing here, you have to click on this more option. You see these three dotted lines? You click on that, click on notification and app settings. Once you click on that, you have to make sure that these three buttons are checked, all right? You should make sure that they are checked, all right? So once they are checked, you will definitely have something that looks like mine. And you could see there are three levels of responses that Bing gives us. Bing gives us more creative response. It gives us a more balanced response and even more precise uh, response. So depending on what you want it to throw up for you, that's what it's gonna do. Um, one more thing is that Bing is not just for research purposes only, but there's a reason why I'm using Bing for this is because I know for sure that most of us at least went to school. So it's possible that you have been met, somebody has made you to read something before. So yeah, so uh, uh, you need, sometimes you need, some, sometimes you might be like me, um, you you want to read a lot, but but then you don't want to spend much time reading a lot. It's 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 kind of a conflict, but but yeah, you might be like that. Uh, let me open one more paper as well, one more engineering paper. Honestly, uh, this was from my senior. Uh, let me go to history. Honestly, I don't like history. I that's the only thing. Chizzy and I don't, don't really share in common. I hate history. He likes history. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, this is uh, another another stuff. For, let me just start off with this one. I will say, Bing, hey, um, um, tell me the main findings. You know, engineering, we do more of findings in this research paper you enter you see that it's telling me the main findings so i don't need to read these 18 pages my my senior has written i just need to know what he did let me just summarize this thing for me tell me what's up tell me what's happening and the point is that you can keep throwing question to being Throwing questions to Bing, Bing will be kicking you up. And it's a chat, it's a chat bot. And even if you don't want to still continue talking about this paper right here, you can still go further trying to find out some other details. Like right now, from the suggestion it gave you, it's kind of suggesting some other things that may be important to you. Maybe you want to know how to do experimental model analysis, which might be one of the analysis used for this methodology. Or maybe you want to know more on 3D printing, or even what is FDM, that's fused the position machine you want to know more about 3d printing and the rest so it can also from your from the from the answer it gave pull out some suggestion for you and you can keep digging deep if i click on what is 3d printer it will tell me what 3d printer is uh, yeah so that's it let me let me go back to to the history side so it's giving me what uh, 3d printing is and the rest so at least this thing can give me a brief overview about what i'm working with or what, what why this guy but we are using the word 3d and the rest in their in their in their uh, research so yeah so let me go back to history at least let me do one science and one art um hit on this if i want i can refresh this uh, you can refresh if you want to clear up your, con your conversation and start up a new one um what will I add this thing? I can tell you to summarize. Let me see if you can summarize. Yeah. Why not summarize this article? Uh, let me see this research paper, actually. Let me use the word research paper. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. You know, it's telling me what Matthias and the colleagues did, all of them, you know. I don't have time to read all this. Just tell me something was going on there. And I will keep throwing questions, asking, having concern with this guy, and it will keep doing this all around. At least this thing, ChatGBT doesn't have it yet, but although ChatGBT still reads paper if you want it to. But there's, there's, a, there's a different skill for that, all right? There's a different skill for that. And if you are on the premium version of ChatGBT, you will have some of that unlimited access to some functionalities. But for now, you can manage your being, at least it's free, you know, read papers and the rest. So I have to move on because 
time is of essence. I've already spent nine minutes explaining this guy. So yeah. Um, so the next guy that we have here is the guy called, uh, oh, let me swap this again. Uh, okay. Is the guy called uh, Tome. Uh, I've actually done um, an extensive tutorial on Tome. Um, let me just uh, pull out something here. Uh, let me pull out something. Okay, I have Tome here already. All right, so uh, this is Tome. And like I said, uh, follow me on my uh, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, if you go to my YouTube, um, um, yeah, this is this is the what Tome does is Tome helps you to create professional slides. Okay, uh, because of time, I may not be able to delve deep into Tome, but if you if you watch my um, what's it called my video tutorial on Tome. It's going to help you to know how best to generate slides using AI in seconds. I'm just going to post it on the chat. So if you, do, you might just want to uh, hit on it, save it to watch later. So I just sent it on the group. That's for Tome. I'm not going to deep dive. I've already done a lot of extensive work on that. Um, that reminds me, since I'm here, and if you want to learn some basic stuff, creativity and the rest, I already have some other videos here. And of course, if you want to plan your year or plan your goals or learn how to set goals, can go to my channel, watch that. Of course, follow me on my channel. Yeah, so that's that for Tome. Uh, Tome is just basically used for at gener um, slide generation. I have the link already on the description of my video. Um, if you click on the description here, you're gonna see um, the link to Tome app. Once you click on that, it invites you and then you register. It's just easy peasy, uh, Japanese easy. So yeah. Uh, uh, that's that for that. Um, the next guy I want to talk about is uh, the guy called Coden. This is for this is for developers. All right, Coden is for developers. If you want to learn one thing about uh, development, web development, or whatever uh, language you want to learn is the systematized approach of learning that thing. If you if you are not systematic in your approach, learning how to use a particular language, you begin to mess up. So what this particular AI has done is to organize your learning curve, right? And if you if you come to code code dam and click on learning, and if you want to learn maybe front end or back end or full stack or web three blockchain. You've heard me talk about blockchain earlier. Even if you you don't really, personally, I don't really like, I'm yet to, to understand holistically what we are doing there, but you don't have to be dull about this particular because that's just the, the next move. So you just have to know what's up because very soon your banking system is going to change. So many things are going to change and it's going to hit you hard. You know, right now we we see our grandmothers also as as unlearned people, right? That's what it's going to look like if you don't know what what uh, Web three and blockchain is in the next uh, let's say in the next I don't know maybe two years or five years. If you don't know what is going on there, you're going to look exactly like those guys. People are talking about something. Like, what what's going on? So yeah. So what Godam helps you to do is to structure your learning curve, and you really want to be systematic in your approach in life. The reason why people don't do much is because they they scatter knowledge here. It's like I see, I see many Christians do this. You 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 listen to a lot of different people. You know, in in one in one week or in one day, you listen to Mr. A, Mr. B, Mr. C, Mr. D. You know, who clients saying can, can never grow like that. It's impossible. You have to have a systematized place where you drink from so that your growth, you can actually check, am I really growing in this or not? So that you can know when to move. At least humans are the only people that is giving the change thing. So what Codam helps is to help you structure your learning curve. So if I'm if I'm interested in learning front end, I will just click on front end and Codam will tell me, oh, this is how I need to, this is the rule. You see that this is the road. The first thing is to learn the internet fundamentals, learn HTML and CSS, and learn a DNS server, a hypertext protocol and the rest. You know, learn all these things. After then, move to the basis of front end, go to JavaScript, blah, blah, blah. You keep, of course, it's paid for. You can see that money here because, like I told you, if, if, you, if, you, if you say you don't have money to learn, 
it's still valid. It's, it's still very, very valid. Nobody is going to is going to kill you for for not giving um, a chance to to your future or something that you love doing. Okay, some of these things are free. Some of them are paid for. All right, and and I've seen this thing happen over time. I've I, I do more of consultancy sometimes. You know, I I teach people. I have conversation with them. I I help them structure their business model or something. And I see one thing come on. Most times when people approach and they don't pay for these things. It's it's amazing how they trivialize uh, what they are learning, but but once somebody pays for something, it's actually amazing how the person pays close attention. Because I think a man, there was one wise man that said, "People that pay pay attention." So yeah, uh, it, when you pay, you pay attention. So yeah, so when you pay eighteen dollars per month, even demons will tell you to come and do this course because you don't want to waste this eighteen dollars. Yeah. So that's what CodeDam helps you to do. It structures your learning, helps you to really, really um, have, have a holistic uh, 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 go about yourself. So if you want to learn with AI, uh, and I think, uh, well, relatively cheap anyway. So yeah, you might have like $18 per month for this. Um, yeah, I'm just showing you this guy because if you want to do it, yeah, it's a it's a win-win. I know I've said a lot of things now. So um, let me, let me, let me recap. Now I've shown you four things. I've shown you four things. I've shown you Bing. I've shown you um, NVIDIA broadcasts. I've shown you Tome. I've shown you Codam. Now these tools have their different um, uses. They have their uniqueness. They have the things that they are used for. So now that, that shows you that you should know what does what, right? You should know what does what so that whenever you have a job, you can know what happens. Now you might say, uh, how do I make money from this, this and that? You can tell it, you can post on your WhatsApp um, um, uh, uh, a virtual assistant because virtual assistants help people to create slides, help them to plan. What Tome helps you to do? I don't, I don't give people hard advice anymore, but let me give you one. What Tome helps you to do is to structure people's at Larry and you can actually leverage on this thing as what you do and come on, make something out of it. I've done slides for people. I've created slides for people. Sometimes I mix my Tome, right, with my graphic, uh, one of my softwares called Illustrator. You, if you go to my channel, you're going to see the basis on that particular uh, software. You go there, you understand how it's been done. You understand what does what. It's, it's not a, like in this time and age, it's not a must that you will understand how Adobe Illustrator works. That's why we have AI. Once you know where you are headed, and you know what uh, what price to pay or what instruction to give to that, then you're going to have the same result as somebody that, that designs in Illustrator does. The only difference is going to be the uniqueness, right? But apparently, however you present it is what wins. So, all right, I've said a lot. So jot these things down and let's move. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Tight an offering, I collect offering. So if I've said anything that makes sense to you for the net, for the past uh, 20, 10 minutes, you go to click on my link, you will see donations, give me something there. Yeah, give me something there. And uh, yeah, that's my bank account. You can do that, you are free to do so. Yeah, that's what get, makes us motivated to do what we do, to share things that we share with others and um, keep growing. Yeah. All right, take a screenshot of that and keep because I'm going to be going to the main guy. The main guy is the chat GBT. Let me show you how to use chat GBT. So many people don't know how to use chat GBT and it's painful that you have this, um, this two, but yet you don't know how to use chat GBT. I'm going to be using chat GBT first for us as a content creator, which I'm not. I'm not a content creator, but I'm going to do something. I want to saw my post on, 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 on Facebook about this event. That thing you saw there was ChatGBT created, you know? Yeah. Somebody said, wow, this guy is a content creator. Wow, he knows how to do this. Wow, this guy is so good. He knows how to talk, blah, blah, blah. It's ChatGPT created. The only thing is at least you know how to read English. When you read good English, you know. When you read the wrong one, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. So let me show you how to use ChatGPT as a content creator. And I will show you the same thing as, uh, as a developer, maybe uh, somebody that code, somebody that do a matter of things. I'm just going to show you, maybe do, I'm going to toast a girl with ChatGPT. I'm going to toast a girl with ChatGPT. Yeah, 
I think that's what I'm going to do first. At least to make this place, look, people should be happy. I think my brothers are already like, wow. And I show us this thing. Let me know why this girl doesn't want to give me listening. I'm going to show you something today. You're going to go back and, and, and meet this girl and tell her something. Yeah, it's something nice. Ah, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, see how you, I, I like, I like this, like I told you, all these um, platforms are conversational platforms. You talk to it as if you're talking to your friend. All right, to speak to it as if you are speaking to a friend. Um, hey, I met, I met a girl. Um, named uh, T today, and I want to write a poem, a romantic poem. Yeah, let me use that one. A romantic poem. That if you're so married, you can use this to, 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 to sham your marriage, okay, yeah. All right, a romantic poem in, watch this. This is the juice right now, watch this. In William's Shakespeare's voice. I'm not gonna write it in my own voice. I wanna write it as the way William Shakespeare wrote Toby and Juliet. I want this girl to really, <laughs> In a few days, let me show I know how to use special space again because before I go and mess up. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, okay, look at the guy. Let me go and copy it because, yeah, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to write the poem as, as William Shakespeare. I'm gonna hit enter. You see that? Aha, my dearest T, thy beauty. Is divine, a rose by any name. Blah 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 blah. So yeah, what I showed you here is not. I'm not trying to show you how to toast gear with ChatGPT. I'm trying to show you that this app, the way you use it, you instruct it. Remember, it's machine learning. Remember that word. It's machine learning. You you are the one to tell it what to do. You are the one to tell it what to think. And if it doesn't do what you want, you can basically change it. And let me write as a content creator. There are frameworks towards content creation. I'm gonna just Google this frameworks of uh, content uh, creation. There are these people that market, these people that sell things, they have several frameworks that they use, all right? They have several frameworks. This is not what I'm looking for. Well, let's, let's add. Let's add chat. Um, give me a list of five different. Give me a list of five um, content creation framework. Right now, I, I want to sell a book. I wrote a book. I wrote a book. I wrote a song. I wrote whatever, and I want to sell it to people. I want to sell this. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a YouTuber. I create content. I can see Christabel. Christabel creates uh, content for people that, that speaks French, you know. Uh, and you want to market this thing to a targeted audience. And you don't want to just go there and tell them, enjoy my video, do this, do that. You want to make sure that you narrow this thing, you, you speak the language that they hear, all right? So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create me a framework of this. Um, to give me just a little, at least I can know the framework to use. Um, uh, give me a list of five frameworks of content creation of five uh, uh, of five frameworks. Yeah, I think that's the right word. Frameworks of content creation. Let me see the types it's going to give me. Let me write in. Um, sure. All right. Perfect. Uh, this is not what I'm looking for. Um, no, let me let me instruct it again. For example, remember it's machine learning. For example, I know they have the one they call pass. For example, pass. For example, pass. Let's see. All right, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. So there's there's one framework of content creation called attention, interest, desire, action. Now you want to get your audience attention, get their interest. You know, meet their desire and then 
give them that call that call to action you know to make them click that button to make them buy that stuff to buy that book to watch that video to um to listen to you to chat your own course so this is what you want to do you don't want to just go there and say ah chat gbt i wrote a book give me a description no that's a mediocre way of instructing this software now let me show you what you do um i have a book let me start again uh, nice one nice one wise one <laughs> nice one wise one um i wrote a book titled the conqueror okay yeah let me use that one yeah uh, is it the emperor the conqueror now which one is ready now <laughs> yeah yeah let me say the conqueror. Let me say now the emperor of what something. <laughs> Let me say emperor of Nigeria. Imagine, assuming we have emperor of Nigeria. Um, give me a persuasive something very persuasive. Persuasive. Uh, I'm professional. I love that word. I like using this word particularly. It's my word. I'm professional. Sales description. Using task framework. Enter. Now it's going to create a problem. Now, as soon as I have a problem, when you write a book, you know the problem is trying to solve, right? So you're also going to tell ChatGPT the problem that you are trying to solve, right? So that when you keep, uh, you know, changing and modeling stuff and the rest, you are going to have the need, the, the result that you want, right? So you could see when. So I, I'm actually spoiling job for content creators because I'm I'm dishing this thing out there to 34 persons right now. They are seeing this. Like, wow, really? Yeah. So yeah, you can be a content creator with ChatGPT and you can do so many things, so many amazing jobs with, jobs with it. So many amazing jobs with it. Uh, I, but one more thing that you need to add to that squiver because sometimes you don't want to be a mediocre in this game. Like I told you, you don't want to be a mediocre in this game. I think the next tool I have is Grammarly. So most times when ChatGPT gives you something, you want to polish that English to look good. You want to polish it. Um, I'm going to pull out my, uh, my Grammarly and show you something else. Uh, this is actually the premium version of Grammarly. So if you're using the, um, the free version, you might, you're not going to have this thing. I guarantee you won't have this. So I, I just copied the, the problem and I'm going to paste it here. And I'm waiting for this guy to tell me something. And let me see. He's saying, oh, nice job. Wow, this guy knows how to write. But I want to rewrite this thing. If I hit this button, improve it on prim on, on, on uh, Grammarly, it's going to improve this word. It's going to you know, include some details, uh, make it more catchy. And I can always change it to modify it to look like something I, something I, I, I want it to look like. You know, I can always change it. I can always modify it. I can always make it look better. So if you're a researcher, if you are uh, a writer, if you are uh, whatever you think you are, or maybe you want to make a post on, on, on Facebook, don't just go and post nonsense. Try to, please, at least use Grammarly, please. Don't go and speak nonsense. Yeah. That's why this thing is there, at least to help you look as if you sabi. <laughs> To help you look as though as if you sabi, even though you know sabi that much, but at least it could make you look so I will just click on the improve it, improve it button and you could see it's suggesting it's changing this thing to say, do you feel fatigued by constantly reading stories that only focus on Nigerians problem and difficulties? You see that? It has improved this particular thing to look much more um, interesting. And if I like this, I'm going to say insert. And if I insert it, that's what happened. So I'm using one stone to kill two bears. I'm showing you what ChatGPT does. And then how, because there are, I think there's a software out there because some of you that use ChatGPT to do assignments. Let me let me inform you ahead of time. There's a software out there that checks uh, words written by, by ChatGPT. But that doesn't mean that you should be afraid of using it because um, even the software checking the AI is also AI. So it's, it also have its own uh, uh, challenges. 
um, in fact, very soon schools are going to ad adopt this new norm because we can't we can't throw away ChatGPT. It is it just here. Yeah. At least it's going to be here for a while uh, until something else happens. Of course, it's still improving. ChatGPT five came up came up with a new. It's it's now thing. I think last week I was listening to a talk by uh, one guy in Harvard, and they were saying that ChatGPT five now has emotion, right? It has emotion. You know the way somebody beats you and you cry. The the machine learning has emotion. It it can feel. Maybe somebody sent you a chat. And then you don't know the right response to, to give the person. You can throw it up to the software and it's going to behave as though that thing hit him. <laughs> it's amazing. So yeah. So that's it. Uh, one more thing before I leave this stuff, before I leave ChatGPT, there's a lot to discuss on ChatGPT. There's just a whole lot and we can't really cover it. I still have so many other software I need to show you. So that's why I'm running like this. Let me do something about programming. Just just, just one, just, just one, just one, just one. Um, just one. Let us okay. Last week I was in my lab, you know, trying to connect this particular sensor. You know, I've tried everything I know, I've tried everything I read online, I've tried mm. everything, and it 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 wasn't just forthcoming. It wasn't just forthcoming, and I needed to see if this guy knows how best to connect this. And I asked this guy the question, and to my uh, to my amusement, it gave me the best way to connect it. Put this one this way, put this one that way, do it this way, do it that way. Just very soft life. And I did it, and it worked. And it just worked. Like, oh man, I was so happy. I came back that day, I was just dancing in my room, not, not outside actually. Dancing, I was so happy. So let's assume you are coding something. Because sometimes our, our software throws out bugs. So yeah, so I'm gonna tell Shad to give me, you know, just give me a code. Maybe I've not written code on Python before. Let's assume I've not written code on Python before at all in my life. And, and I have this, um, this data to analyze, maybe a few axis data. Do I have this time? Let me, let me just demonstrate this so it makes sense. Um, this is my personal work, actually, but something. Okay, let me, let me, why not? If not, why not? Let me use this. One. Let me just keep this thing on download. So maybe uh, somewhere here. Even desktop. Huh. Yeah, no, let's keep it here. Yes. Okay. Yes. So um, let me just create a folder for this. Um, pardon me, please. I'm gonna call this thing tests. Okay, so that this thing makes sense to somebody out there. I know I have engineers here. Um, let me pull out MATLAB so that what I'm doing will make sense. Let me pull out MATLAB. Don't worry about what you're gonna be seeing. They may be intimidating, you know, a lot of line of code. Some of them we are, you know, code by effort, you know. We also solicited for, for 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 help when when we did it because nobody knows it all like I told you nobody knows it all so if you need help ask for ask for one um, open a new script please and then yeah. let me go back to this I have uh, a three axis data let's assume you've you've done the work you've um, this is the data you collected from from your sensor and you have, honestly, this is big. It's too much, you know, how on earth can I really analyze this? And this data that you see here is tens of, in fact, I think it's up to 300,000, right? It's just so long. You can analyze it with softwares, but sometimes you can't be limited with some things and that's where you really need somebody to come help you and can say, I have um I have three sensors. I have three sensors of three axes, of three axis H, yeah. With three axis H. 
x, y, let's see, okay. I want to read V. There's something we call um, time graphs, all right? I'm just gonna do time graph. I wanna read um, acceleration to time graph using MATLAB. So, Write me a MATLAB code that can that can view this data. Enter. Say yeah, 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 sure. This is MATLAB code. You start writing the code for me. Blah 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 blah. Remember, I told you if 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 you are if you are a developer, you should have at least some skills, right? Some skills because now it said data here. If you don't know what this thing means, you are going to um, uh, make a mistake, right? You may not know when this thing, where you're going to add this. Like at least it gave you some, it said replace with the name of the file you have. And I just remember right now that what I have is not a text file. It's actually a, a, an Excel file. So I'm going to change my, I'm going to change my command. Oh, thank you buddy but it is an excel file not a, not a text file so it's done yeah so it's gonna update it now. So I made I made a mistake. I didn't tell you it that it's an Excel file. So it's now changing it to look like an Excel, right? So this is what it does. Uh, it's directing it, blah blah blah. It's assuming that I have a time data on that. But if I look at my my stuff here, I don't have anything that looks like time. I only have like uh, I don't ha I have X Y Z. I don't have any time whatever. So I can decide to remove this line of code. Right, I can decide to remove this line of code because it's not important to me. Um, yeah, or better still, I can keep it and then chat generate its own uh, line of code for me. Or the best thing I can do is to maybe move this guy to this point, cut it, make a space for time, and call this place time, and maybe write number one, two, double click on this and then it flies down for me. All right, so this is what I have. So, so yeah, um, let's go back to chat. What is chat doing? Um, chat is done, it's done analyzing whatever it did. I will just copy the code and test run it to see if it's gonna work. I'm gonna test, test run it here. And um, yeah, I'm gonna change this guy. I'm gonna change this guy to the name of my file. The name of my file is something. Let me just call it ABC. Uh, oh, sorry. It didn't change. Actually, I still have it open. Cancel. Let me close it off. ABC. Yeah. Go back to MATLAB. Change this guy to ABC. ABC. So if you're if you're a starter, I'm sure that you're gonna find this thing very, very handy. This it, it doesn't just write only MATLAB code, it, it writes any kind of code that you want it to write. So I'm gonna try to run this and it's gonna ask me to save this file. Remember the way we do in, in um in MATLAB, we try to see if you're gonna be there are two ways actually you can save your MATLAB file outside the folder you want to analyze, and you can analyze it on the same folder. So I'm gonna be doing this one because of because of time on the same stuff here. I'm just gonna call it um, trial. Let's call it trial. It's a. Uh, let's see. Um, at, uh, let's see if it works. Yeah, I'm still doing that. I should be moving, I should be moving, there's no time. So the next guy in line there, um, is 
you loading when it's done i'm gonna show you guys that so that we we, we run uh, uh that reminds me i have a marathon weekend coming up in case you want to know much about this learn much about it because we are not going details on this and you want to learn more oh yeah wow okay wow it's up oh wow see what it gave me the time stuff here you can see that oh. yeah, it's, 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 it's the result from that so it's showing me how my data looked like all right so i can decide to do machine learning i can decide to do um a, a neural, anal a neural network uh bca analysis fft um uh, 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 name them all of them uh, even uh, deep learning i can decide to look deeper on this work and see much more things on it so you could see you can delve deep and the funny thing about this thing is that it's it saves you time, it saves you energy of cracking, oh, which, which function does this, which function does that. But remember, you will at least know how a programming language works so that when you, when you, when you get the code you are looking for, you yourself, you will know. Because remember, this is machine learning. It doesn't know it all. Sometimes it gives you the wrong answer, right? Sometimes it gives you the wrong answer. So you should know where you are headed. So that's that for that for engineers. There is much more on that. And if you want to uh, maybe come for my training session, coaching and the rest, I have a three week uh, three weekend mar marathon coming up. Screenshot that letter you fill it in. You're just gonna ask you your first name, last name, and email address. That's just it. I think that I've touched on Grammarly. Um, last month, I'm 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 a registered member of Adobe. Um, I started my graphic journey with Adobe Illustrator, and last week I applied. To to join their, their image generating uh, software called Firefly. They just launched it last month. It's still on the beta stage. So some of you may not be able to use it, but I'm just gonna show you what it does. It's, it's an image generating uh, AI. So I'm just gonna pull it up right now and just do a quick demo on that. So yeah, um, the name is like I said, the name is just Adobe Firefly. So once you click on that, it's gonna give you um give you when you open it up, you are gonna see many things people are creating. Um, if I open up my my Discord um account, you are gonna see the group where we are in, uh, the testers where people are test running, sharing their design, sharing their creative images, and uh, and and yeah, uh, remember as an artist, sometimes remember we you think there's something called imaginative drawing imaginative drawing so with ai ai can help you to imagine it can help you to imagine imagine what you want and remember if it doesn't give you what you want you will keep training it you keep training it um yeah let's move um so let us assume you want to generate test. these are test effects and the rest um i don't know this guy should open up i'm gonna click on this and boom so this is what people are creating with the text effect. They are telling this thing to create a pineapple that looks like a cake, blah, blah, blah. You know, people do crazy stuff on this and then you can do the same as, you know, the same as well. So I'm going to do something here. I'm going to tell it to um, uh, President Obama, Obama as a chef, as a professional chef. At Marriott, so I'm gonna click on generate um, at Marriott Hotel. Let me write it hotel. Click generate. Um, yeah, so it's gonna come up with four designs, four different designs. Uh, it doesn't look like him yet. So, like I told you, this this AI Firefly is still new. It's learning, right? It's learning. So when it gets something that looks like what you want, you give it thumbs up. If it doesn't, you give it uh, a no, no. So I can give it a, I'm gonna do something else. A front view camera of room. Uh, what's that room arena? Let me just say arena. Let's see what's gonna happen. Let's say generate. Let's see what it's gonna do. And remember I said front view camera. I can decide to say top view. This is me training the guy to where I want. Remember those days, people don't have some you know, pseudo cameras like this, but this guy thinks a whole lot, you know, using it to imagine how this, how the view can be. So I can say top view um, with gladiators fighting. Yeah. So I'm going to click generate. So it's going to generate this image from the top view now, the same thing. Of the, that, this time around, remember I gave you people fighting. You could see people fighting here. <laughs> people are fighting. 
the people are fighting. Um, yeah. So that's just it. You know, you can imagine a lot of things. I can decide to imagine um a dancing dog. You can imagine that. <laughs> the dog dance. <laughs> what do they do? <laughs> Let, let's see what it's gonna do. But remember, this is not all there is, all right. So as you are generating this AI, you are teaching it, you are training it to look exactly as you want it to be. All right. So yeah. So this is that for Firefly. It is an image generating AI. So that means if you are a photographer, this is not the only image that is even a sophisticated one that I use. Uh, let me show you some of my artwork so that um, there's also another one I use very, very well. These are some of my works. These are still, uh, uh, in, I'm writing I'm writing a, a book on David of the, you know, David of the Bible. And you can see this is David, you know, I told it to generate a 16 year old boy, blah, 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 blah. Give me some details, two, 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 and then boom, this is David at 17. So you can see that. And uh, this is uh, Adobe Firefly. I just showed you this. This is uh, the platform where so many creators are. You can see people are creating uh, amazing, and amazing stuff. So yeah. So if you if you attend my weekend, uh, my three weekend program, I'm gonna delve deep into these particular uh tools. So that's that for this. I'm gonna move fast for videographers. If you are into video, um, there is a guy called uh, the Crypt. This is not the only. Like I said, this is not the only. But I will be showing you the ones that are you know that are doing amazing job. So the Crypt is a video app. Let's say you finish recording your video. Um. I know Christabel record tutorial for people that speak French, and I and personally from from the from the perspective of somebody that created, that created videos over time, you know, for people and even for myself, sometimes you mutter words, sometimes you make mistakes, sometimes you repeat a particular word so many times, and damn, you want to remove those kind of things. You just want to make it sound professional. That's where the crypt comes in. I I just uh, received this. Uh, uh, this is this is now this is uh, this is uh, watch this. This is you feed it with um with your image or your recorded video, and then it uh, translates. It gives you the transcript, and from that transcript you can then modify or remove the words that you don't want. Now watch this lady speak. I think I should share the voice so that you guys can hear it. Welcome back to my kitchen. Can you hear the sound? Yes, I can. I can. Yes, okay. Can. Sure. Let me play again. Hi everyone, it's Tiff, and welcome back to my kitchen. I don't smile like that in real life. Why do I? Now he's, she said, I don't smile. I'm going to remove don't. I'm gonna, so you say, I smile like that. So I'll start afraid and play this thing now. Hi, everyone. It's Tiff. And welcome back to my kitchen. I smile see like that? that in real life. Why Did you I? see that? So I'm not going to do long, long, so that you just, this just hit and run so that you can know just a bit of what, what something does. So this is overview. So the clip helps you after recording your video, uh, before you publish on YouTube, on Instagram, or wherever, you use the crypt to, you know, make some changes, remove some words, maybe where you put that word, or maybe where you say something that you don't like, or maybe when you, you, where you uh, use the wrong word or something, you can use the crypt to change that. And even your pronunciation, actually, you can use the crypt to change that. You can train it to do that. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I'm going to close this off. Yeah, I've shown you this guy. Um, I'm not going to do much on this guy. Um, this guy is called Voice AI. Voice AI is used to train voices. As mean, I want to talk like if you chuku, and I want to, people have been using this thing in the wrong way. Uh, because of recent, people are using it to scam people, right? People are using it to scam people. And that's why uh, in the US right now, there's a debate going on right now to place uh, some rules, some um, limitation on the use of AI, you know, to set some boundaries. I can remember somebody sharing last week that the parents was called and they thought it was him, that he was involved in an accident and they wanted to dupe the parents. So, yeah. So yeah, so I'm just gonna show you, I'm not gonna demonstrate. Um, yeah, because it's gonna take a long time to really train voices. So yeah, so this is it, voice AI, it just um, changes. And they also, one thing also about the voice AI is that if I download this thing now and I want to talk like Obama or talk like anybody, so far the voice is there, I can start talking like that person. Um, ah, should I demonstrate this? So. Okay, let's try. Let me just, but I will just be moving on. Then I will show you what I mean by by this. I can 
you'll be hearing me, but you won't be hearing me. You will still you can you start hearing me talk like um you start hearing me talk like uh, what's his name? Talk like Obama. So that's what this guy does. You remember the what when I showed you um what's he called? Um Nvidia broadcast. That's the same way this guy works. You can be talking to people. Maybe you don't have deep voice and you want to have a deep voice when you are communicating with people online. This you can use voice AI to do that, to, to deepen your voice, to change stuff and the rest. Yeah. Let me just, let me just talk about it. I won't, I won't do this thing. Let me just leave it and move. <laughs> There's so many things to talk about today. Um, yeah. For podcasters. Podcasters. I think that should be next. Yeah. There is a tool by Adobe again. We are there called a uh, podcast, Adobe Podcast. Adobe Podcast changes your, I know uh, people like Ifechuku and some other person do record uh, uh, maybe spoken words or speeches or whatever via uh, their phones. And they may, not, they may not have the kind of gadget I have, you know, to amplify their voices. And sometimes you'll be hearing some background noise, chicka chicka choco choco, chicka chicka choco choco, cha cha, you know, that kind of thing. You know, it, it can be distracting and, and you don't really want that to happen. That is where Adobe Podcast comes in. All right. Adobe Podcast helps you to remove the background noise. I can remember I do I do videography in my church. Like I was saying, uh, these are some of my works. I think I can I can open one of these and show you what I mean. Um uh, some of these works, they were kind of some raw, some raw uh, voices. And the way this thing works is, once you click on new, new, new project, you want to feed it in with that voice that you recorded, right? You want to feed it in. You just click on upload, upload the voice. When you have the voice uploaded, you can basically remove that background noise from it and tell it to reduce noise or whatever. Whatever you want to do is going to do it. Well, let's I forget uh, the, what was it called? The Adobe podcast works with MP3. That one thing you should bear in mind. It works with MP3. It must be MP3. So sometimes what I do when I finish recording my pastor, what I do is uh, to remove his audio voice from the video and then throw it to Adobe podcast. And then with a click of a button that is just um, enhanced, when you click on the button enhance, it enhances his voice. It makes his voice look sharper. It makes people to hear him better and remove any side, um, uh, maybe side talk or any soundtrack. Uh, the last one, oh man, there is still much of this. Uh, I have another guy who is for um, music creators, people that sing song, DJs. Maybe you want to make a new sound. You can use a raw sound to create your own uh, uh, sound. So when I click on create music, and you want to maybe you are angry you want to create a, 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 a you know like an angry sound you want to click angry sound you can really just click on that and it gives you some level of angry sounds and then you are at liberty to modify it to suit whatever you want so i'm just going to play one of it once you hit on one it's going to give you the highs and lows of that particular sound and it is it, it it's going to be at your discretion to to modify the highs and lows of that particular soundtrack yeah okay yeah all right so this is sound so you can modify it if you're a dj you understand what i'm doing my head like this no that's how they be so, so you can you can create your own sound create your own soundtrack for your for your tutorial videos for your podcast or whatever you want to do just create your own unique soundtrack using ai so i don't need to buy i don't need to buy any soundtrack from i don't need to buy any any soundtrack from uh, artist studio or or even youtube or whatever uh, platform that sell audio soundtrack with with sound raw i can create my own soundtrack and the point is that see this thing I can also license it in such a way that if somebody uses it, I get paid for it. So that's just a mini about that. So you can have it out there. If you're a musician, if you're a podcaster, if um, whatever, if you are, if you use uh, background sound for something like me that do more of a, 
videography and the rest, you know how pastors, when they finish preaching, you want to segment their messages to hit the important points. So here you come here, you develop your own soundtrack and use it for that. Nobody's going to file you for doing so. Um, there's another one for videographer. I'm just going to mention, I'm not going to demonstrate. It's called Runway. Runway is still in its, um, it's still in its demo stage. So uh, people can try it out and uh, and create videos out of it. Say you, you can use Runway to, let's say you have a video and you want to convert that from, 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 from a video to cartoon. You can use Runway to do just that. All right, that's just a brief about it. I'm not going to dwell much on it. That's that for wrong way. And, um, and yeah, I just want to take a question in case somebody has something that you not want me to portray. That's why I'm rushing like this so that I'll make sure I showed you uh, all the possible potential software that you need to know. Um, yeah, there's another guy called 11 Lab. Uh, it's called 11 Lab. 11 lab is, is used for converting a test to speech, all right? Converting test to speech. Uh, you can use 11 lab to achieve something like that. Uh, I'm gonna close up this, yeah. You can use 11 lab to generate test to speech and, and have a tremendous res result. So this is, I think I created something some time ago with 11 lab and it gave me something amazing. So what happens is you write something. I remember we have like a chat GBT that helps us to create something the other time. Let's say you have like, um, let me go to Facebook. Um, let me go to my profile. Let me go to my profile. Uh -huh. So I want to talk about this. I can copy this and uh, and throw it on 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 Eleven Lab. And what Eleven Lab is going to do is to convert this test to speech. All right. So if you have something out there, maybe you're a content creator and you don't really like people hearing your voice, you can train uh, this guy. You can train a sound. You can train a voice using this particular AI called Eleven Lab. So once you click on Generate. Um, it will generate a sound for you, and then you can play to see if it's if it looks like what you want, and make your Do you changes. Need help keeping up with the latest technological trends and advancements as a content creator, artist, graphic designer, podcaster, videographer, photographer, researcher, or writer? Do your skills and techniques need to be updated, and do you need to catch up in a highly competitive industry? Yeah, amazing. So yeah, so this is it. And uh, another thing again is that we have limitation of words here, which is 2,500. And I guess if you if you if you go for the paid version, you're gonna get more than more than that. Yeah. Um tell me on the comment session. Hope you guys are learning. Um I uh, hope you guys are learning, hope you guys are noting, jotting some things down. Just let me know in the comment section what you've learned so far, and I will just show you the last guy, and then I'm, and then I will leave you to go. I've already, I'm even one hour away from another meeting that I have. Yeah, uh, yeah. You can type on the comment section. Let me know what you're learning. Let me know if you are learning anything at all. So I've talked about Eleven Lab. I've talked about uh, so many other stuff, and uh, I hope you are learning. The last guy I want to talk about is um, is uh, D to D. I'm not going to demonstrate this one, um, but what D to D does is when you generate that sound using Eleven Lab, right? When you finish generating that that sound using Eleven Lab, what D to D does is if you give D to D an image, maybe an image of yourself. You know, you take a screenshot of, of yourself, you're not talking just like this. D to D will open your mouth to make it as though, as if you are the one talking that, you know, saying those things. So you just feed D to D with the audio speech that 11th lab generated. When you feed it to D to D, the image begins to talk as though it's reading 
just exactly as somebody that is being captured in a real in a real time camera. I have a demo somewhere that I would have loved to show you guys so that you guys know you understand what I'm talking about. Let me let me quickly find that. I will stop sharing. Let me quickly find that demo so that to make sense to you. The world was generated using chat GBT, uh, voice trained by Eleventh Lab, and uh, the video created by uh, what was it called? The D D D to ID. So yeah, I'm not showing you this thing because it's gonna help you. Some of some of us are shy. Some of us are, are not um, are introverted. So sometimes you don't like being on camera. Um, but D to D is here to help you out, help you um, put yourself there without much issues. So yeah, so this is D to D doing this. So what I did here was that. Can you see this image I have here? So I'm gonna yes, play sir. that. You can see D to play. 3D printing is changing the way we imagine and create. No longer limited by traditional manufacturing methods, 3D printing allows us to bring our ideas to life with speed. So what I'm trying to show you is that you can generate an image using any of the software that I've shown you. I've shown you um, Adobe Fire, uh, Firefly, but let me show you another sophisticated software that I use and show you some of, give you access to some of my um, uh artwork so that it makes sense to you. So these are some of my artworks that I've generated so far. And that woman talking was one of was one of it. And so that I proved this point to let you know that some of these things are here. Like I told you, the idea about this thing is um you have to gain mastery first before yeah, you could see, I think the woman that talked was uh, this guy, yeah. So you could see it's an image, it's not a real person. All right, so that proved the point. Yeah, so that's what I want to share with you. So there are many, 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 many more. Uh, yeah, and, I've, and I think I've armed you with the ones that are really, really, really of importance. And I trust that if you begin to maximize all that you've learned so far, uh, you know, Adding it to your to your squiver to what you know already is going to help you. Now I have like my three marathon days coming up in twenty seventh of May, third and the tenth of of June, and this program it's it's going to be long because it's marathon. It's going to be long. It might be up to three hours of training per day or even more, depending on what on the question I'm I'm going to be answering on the software I'm going to be teaching because I'm going to be showing you you know, a bit, you know, show you how things have been done, direct you to things. So what I intend to cover in this particular marathon program is to show you more tools on machine learning and uh, give you access to it. Remember what I told you is uh, you learn and then you, you plan to become valuable. You, you plan to become valuable. Most of you already know a lot of things. Like you already know a lot. But like what you know right now, if, if, you, if, you, if, if somebody can show you what exactly you can do with that, then I, I guarantee you wouldn't you wouldn't be where you are today. You wouldn't be where you are today. And some of us that do sell stuff, um, personally, I I started selling uh, ads from I think that was 2017. But of course, I grew up in the house of marketing and something, so it's kind of it's in my blood to sell things. So yeah, I'll teach you how clients behave, client psychology, teach you how to cost, teach you how to price, teach you the difference between these things. There is a difference between cost. There's a difference between price. Uh, costing and pricing are, are two different words. And even value is the same that you be striving for in such a way that you do something for somebody and they want to pay you, they are arguing. Wow, are you sure? Are you sure Victor is going to take uh, this, this 10,000 euro? Are you sure it's going to, are you sure? Are you, are, you know, that can, are you sure? Are you sure? But if you're like, Mweke, that is just somewhere there. Somebody can go, let's just give him one euro. He can manage that. Let's give him one dollar. Let's just give him this. Uh, yeah, you just want to try to the point where you become valuable. And of course, there are some topics I will be talking. Most of these are, are mindset related because it's going to shift your mind. I happen to attend a success power a, um, by uh, Sam Adeyemi. And I've also uh, gone several other programs, uh, even in the past and of recent, I'm still going for programs. So I'll be sharing with you some of the things that I've learned that have really helped me to, you know, become whoever you think I am. And and, uh, and yeah, some of these topics, they are not out there yet. So it's, you're going to be hearing it for the first time. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing on this training. And of course, you have 30 minutes to talk with me exclusively. You know, we talk about so many things. I Like I told you, I like listening to people's problems. I like talking to people. 
we share your challenges with me, maybe um, business-wise, school-wise, um, career-wise. Uh, marital, oh no, not, not marital-wise, no, come on, share. Not marital-wise, yeah. Just share with me real-life situation, real-life experiences, and maybe you need, um, you need extra push. If you need that extra push to really uh, strive for mastery, to become better in what you know now, to do better in what you are doing, you want to register for, for my, what was it called? For my event coming up. I've already shown you the flyer earlier. Um, in case you didn't get the screenshot or something, uh, you can ask me about that. I'm going to send it to you on WhatsApp. I think easy you have the screenshot so you can uh, share with people. Um, but then I'm going to charge you, actually. It's going to cost you days to make this happen. But if you're going to pay within 24 hours using this link here, see that link? If you can use this link to pay, then you will have exclusive access to me, 30 minutes, depending on the length of your trouble. Some person might, it's issues Friday, that's what it's been called. It happens every Friday. I tend to listen to people, hear their problem, help them solve their problem. Not like solve it, solve it. Because personally, you are the one to solve your problem. But that extra push, you need to solve that problem. That's where I come in. All right? So if you think that you want to advance what we've shared today, everything I've, I've talked about today should be able to arm you with wisdom, should be able to arm you with knowledge of what to do. You can even start earning from what I've told. Like I told you a testimony, you can use Tome, just that Tome slide to start generating things. You can use um, chat GBT and, you know, do amazing job using uh, content creation, using their frameworks. And uh, if you go to my link tree, you will see, uh, what is it called? You will see uh, a free tool. For some of you that attended this, some of you like free stuff. So I have a free stuff there. So go there, click on that free stuff, assess it. It's yours. It belongs to you. I, I know some graphic designers, I see people sell all these 2,000 Naira graphic tools or something. I, I like buying them. I buy them. I keep it there to dash it to people, right? Yeah, because for me, it's 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 not that's not where you are, you you should be. You should come to the point where you are confident of your creativity. You should come to the point where you modify what people has done. So if you feel this is you and you need an extra push and you want to attend my three weekend marathon, you just have to make this happen. And of course, if you pay. Hit me up on my social media handle, especially Instagram. I'm always active there. You can hit me up there. Show me your screenshot. I'm going to add you to a private group. Yeah. So on this weekend, you reach out to me. We are we are going to be having one on one. Even if it's one person that register, I'm going to be there. I'm telling you the truth. I'm going to be there with you these three weekends. And you get to ask me all manner of questions. I'm going to be teaching you everything I know. Everything I know. I'm going to be pouring it out to you. And I, I challenge you, you're not going to be the same again. So this is it for now. And that is it on me. That is everything I have for you today. Just still keep it professional. Serve God. Serve God. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And I guarantee you that you're not going to be small in life. You can get to anywhere you want. I've seen people make excuses in life. Like I told you, everything in life is valid. You can decide to make excuses. It's still valid. But the question is, will you give you the life you desire? So if you think you're not gonna, it's not going to give you the life you desire, then you have to strive for more. If you think um, it's going to give you what you want, you have to stay where you are and figure out your life out. That's just it. All right. I've talked so much today, and I hope you have something. I have all these things recorded. So I will post it on my YouTube channel in case you want to rewatch some things that you didn't catch up with earlier. Cheese is going to send the uh, recorded version with me and, and I will have it there and you can rewatch over and over and over and over again. If you're a startup graphic designer, you're starting out, you, know, you don't know where to go, you don't know what to do, you don't know what software to learn, just go to my YouTube channel. You're going to see a hands-on free professional training there. It's going to walk you from beginners to advanced yeah, I guarantee you that they're not going to be the same. All right. That's it for me. Um, Bye. I hope that I have helped you guys today. So, yeah.